Is the fabric of our universe woven with the threads of time travel? Or is it a tapestry of unattainable dreams? Our documentary series embarks on a quest through the corridors of science and imagination, probing the boundaries of what we understand about the cosmos and our place within it. Can we bend time to our will, traversing the past and future as easily as we journey from one destination to another? We explore the tantalizing concept of time travel, delving into the realms of physics and fantasy to uncover whether our universe harbors the potential for such extraordinary journeys. What barriers stand between us and the realization of a warp drive, a technology that could tear through the cosmic speed limit set by Einstein's theory of relativity? We investigate the scientific hurdles and breakthroughs that tease the possibility of faster than light travel, asking what's stopping us from building a warp drive. In the cosmic ballet, where stars are born and black holes devour, the concept of white holes presents an intriguing counterpoint, an impossible possibility that challenges our understanding of astrophysical phenomena. Could these theoretical reverse black holes exist, ejecting matter and light into the universe, and what would their discovery mean for our understanding of cosmic evolution? Finally, we turn to a groundbreaking discovery a new law of nature that bridges the gap between physics and biology, offering a framework to predict the course of evolution itself. How does this new law of nature redefine our understanding of life's complexity and its interplay with the physical universe? Join us as we navigate these profound questions, seeking answers at the intersection of known science and speculative theory. This series is an invitation to journey beyond the horizon of current understanding to ponder the mysteries that lie at the heart of existence. Welcome to a documentary experience where the impossible becomes a gateway to new realms of knowledge. Imagine a canvas of moments woven with the threads of time. Matter that stretches endlessly in all directions, capturing every choice, every event, every heartbeat. What if you could navigate this intricate fabric? What if you could go back in time, look into the future, or even change the course of history? Time, it governs our lives, but it remains one of the most mysterious phenomena in the universe. We measure it, we chase it, but can we control it? The concept of time travel has intrigued humanity for generations, inspiring countless works of fiction and sparking rigorous debate. But what can science say? Can time travel ever move from the pages of science fiction to the annals of scientific fact? Einstein's theory of relativity opened the door to this possibility by suggesting that time is not a constant, but a variable that can be manipulated. In addition, there are black holes, cosmic phenomena so powerful that they can distort not only light, but time itself. Did you know that astronauts aboard the International Space Station age slower than humans on Earth, even if only by a fraction of a second? This is not science fiction. It is a proven consequence of traveling at high speeds. So let us journey through the corridors of time. We'll explore the science, paradoxes, and limitless possibilities that may one day make time travel a reality. Welcome to a journey through time. Long before the advent of science as we know it, humankind was fascinated by the heavens and the passage of time. Ancient civilizations paid attention to the stars, sun, and moon, creating elaborate calendars and methods of measuring time. Transported to the modern era, this fascination has found a new canvas, film and literature. The concept of time travel has been a recurring theme, offering both escapism and a platform for intellectual curiosity. In 1895, H.G. Wells wrote the novel The Time Machine, which, by the way, not only popularized the term time machine, 
but also introduced the idea that time could be navigated like the dimensions of space. Then came Back to the Future, a pop culture powerhouse that took the concept of time travel and made it accessible to a whole new generation. Who could forget the DeLorean, the magnetic condenser, the flux capacitor, and Dot Brown's charming eccentricity? But it's not just a Western phenomenon. The allure of time travel knows no cultural or linguistic boundaries. From the Japanese Steins Gate to the Soviet Ivan Vasilievich Changes Profession, the theme of time travel resonates around the world. So what is it that attracts storytellers to this concept? The allure of rewriting history? The excitement of the unknown? Or perhaps the philosophical questions such journeys raise? It's a desire fueled by a mixture of nostalgia and anticipation a longing to revisit cherished memories or leap into the promises of tomorrow. And as we stand on the cusp of scientific discoveries that could turn dreams into reality, the question becomes more important than ever. Could we? Should we? And what if we did travel through time? Ah, the blackboard is the canvas on which the abstract becomes possible. Here, equations like E equals MC squared are not just symbols. They're keys to understanding the universe. But can they unlock the secrets of time travel? From silver screens to living room TVs, time travel has been portrayed in countless ways. But let's peel back the layers of fiction and delve into the science that can make time travel more than just a plot device. Meet space-time, the four-dimensional fabric of our universe. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, this fabric can be bent and deformed by mass and energy. But can it be torn or twisted to create a path through time? Time dilation, a consequence of Einstein's theory, suggests that time can flow at different rates depending on the speed of motion or the gravitational field. For example, astronauts on the International Space Station age slightly slower than people on Earth. Experiments with particle gas pedals and atomic clocks have provided empirical evidence of time dilation. It's been observed that particles traveling near the speed of light decay more slowly than their stationary counterparts. In addition, there are wormholes, hypothetical tunnels in space-time that could theoretically allow time and space to be shortened. Although somewhat speculative, the math suggests that they are possible. Leading physicists and cosmologists have voiced their opinions on the matter, offering theories that range from plausible to downright bizarre. Some even suggest that quantum mechanics, the science of the very small, may play a role in making time travel possible. And let's not forget black holes, the mysterious titans of space. Their enormous gravity is so strong that it distorts not only space, but time itself. Could these cosmic phenomena be a gateway to other times? The scientific community is far from consensus. Time travel raises questions that challenge the very foundations of physics, from the nature of reality to the concept of causality. They say time goes forward, always forward and never backward. But what if we could leap forward, skipping years, decades, or even centuries? The idea might not be as far-fetched as it seems. When it comes to slowing down time, speed becomes the main parameter. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the faster you move in space, the slower you move in time. So, could extreme speed be our ticket to the future? Believe it or not, time travel to the future has already been done, albeit on a minuscule scale. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station experience time dilation and age a little slower than their counterparts on Earth. Let's turn our attention to the twin paradox, the famous thought experiment that takes time dilation to a new level. Imagine twins separated at birth. One travels through space at near light speed, while the other remains on Earth. Upon reunion, the space twin will appear younger. Achieving speeds close to the speed of light would greatly enhance this effect. However, such speeds are currently beyond the reach of our technology, not to mention the energy requirements would be astronomical. Scientists and engineers are wrestling with these problems, researching propulsion technologies that could, one day, make near light speed travel possible. But even then, can the human body withstand such a journey? 
Imagine a future where time dilation capsules are as common as airplanes, allowing people to jump into the future to glimpse advanced civilizations or even avoid catastrophes. Will knowledge of the future be a gift or a curse? And what will it mean for the concept of free will? From science fiction to science articles, wormholes have captured our collective imagination. These hypothetical tunnels in the fabric of space-time may turn out to be the cosmic shortcuts we've been dreaming of. But what are wormholes, and could they be the key to time travel? Imagine folding a piece of paper so that two points touch, and then poking it with a pencil. In space-time, the wormhole would be that pencil, creating a straight path between two distant points. This concept gained traction in the scientific community thanks in part to Carl Sagan. While writing his novel Contact, he consulted with physicist Kip Thorne to explore the scientific possibility of using a wormhole for interstellar travel. Today, physicists are delving deeper into the math of wormholes. While the general theory of relativity allows for their existence, the equations also assume that they collapse too quickly for anything to pass through them. Theoretically, by introducing some exotic matter, for example, it could counteract the gravitational forces causing the wormhole to collapse, keeping it open long enough for something or someone to pass through. The portrayal of wormholes in popular media often glosses over these complexities. They're usually portrayed as stable, luminous vortices. But the reality, if they exist, can be much more volatile and unpredictable. Despite the lack of empirical data, the study of wormholes is a dynamic area of research. Scientists use computer modeling and indirect observations to understand their properties and potential uses. Imagine the possibilities if wormholes could be used for time travel. One end could be anchored in the present, the other in the future, or the past. The implications for research and even for preventing global catastrophes are staggering. Wormholes open the door to questions not only about where we might go, but when. And as we approach the potential discovery of these cosmic shortcuts, we must ask ourselves, are we ready for the responsibility associated with such power? In the world of the very small, where particles are also waves, and reality itself seems blurred, lies the quantum world. Could this region of uncertainty hold the keys to unlocking time travel? Quantum mechanics challenges our everyday understanding of the world. Take the two-slit experiment, in which particles behave as both particles and waves. This duality suggests that, at the quantum level, the fabric of reality is much more malleable than we thought. Great minds like Richard Feynman and Niels Bohr have delved into the mysterious world of quantum mechanics a theory that's been incredibly successful in explaining the behavior of matter and energy at extremely small scales. Some physicists suggest that quantum mechanics may offer a basis for time travel. Quantum tunneling, for example, allows particles to pass through barriers as if they're ghosting through walls in the two-slit example. Can a similar principle enable time tunneling? Quantum computing is a new field that uses the principles of quantum mechanics to perform calculations at speeds unimaginable to classical computers. Some speculate that quantum algorithms could solve equations related to time travel that are currently too complex for today's computing machines. The concept of quantum entanglement adds interest. Imagine two particles cooked together in a certain way. Once entangled, these particles become interconnected, forming a single quantum system. The truly stunning aspect of entanglement is that the state of one particle instantly affects its entangled partner, regardless of the distance separating them. This could be across the room or even across the galaxy. Change the spin of one and the other instantly changes. Albert Einstein famously called it spooky action at a distance. At first, he didn't like this idea because it seemed to violate the limit of the speed of light set by his theory of relativity. Since then, however, numerous experiments have confirmed that entanglement is a real and fundamental aspect of quantum mechanics. Could such an effect at a distance make a difference to instantaneous time travel? While the intersection of quantum mechanics and time travel is still in the realm of speculation, it is a hotbed of scientific research. 
Researchers are studying everything from quantum loops in time to the role of quantum gravity in the early universe. Imagine a future in which the principles of quantum superposition could account for multiple timelines or realities. What if you could exist in a superposition of past and present? Could quantum mechanics be the final piece of the puzzle in our quest to conquer time? Moving on, let's move from the world of the microscopic scale to the grandiosely large one, black holes, mysterious titans of space whose gravity is so strong that not even light can leave them. But could these celestial phenomena hold the secret to time travel? Enter the concept of closed time-like curves. A closed time-like curve, or CTC, is a path in space-time that loops back on itself. Theoretically, an object or even a person traveling along a CTC could end up in an earlier point in time. The idea was first proposed by physicist Kurt Gödel in 1949. Gödel's solution to Einstein's field equation suggested that rotating universes could contain paths looped in time. However, these solutions required certain conditions, such as a universe filled with rotating matter. Although Gödel's model is considered physically implausible in most cases, it has opened the door for other scientists to explore the concept. The main challenge is to find a scenario in which STSSs could exist without violating the laws of physics. One such scenario involves rotating black holes, known as Kerr black holes. Massive gravitational and rotational forces can theoretically twist space-time into loops, creating CTCs. But there's a catch. Most models predict that the center of a rotating black hole, known as a singularity, will be ring-shaped rather than point-shaped. This ring feature could potentially serve as a gateway to the CTC. However, powerful gravitational forces could also create a barrier known as the Cauchy horizon, beyond which the laws of physics are violated. The study of CTCs and black holes is fraught with paradoxes and uncertainties. For example, if CTCs exist, they can lead to paradoxes in which cause and effect are reversed. This has prompted some physicists to propose the chronology defense hypothesis, which suggests that the laws of physics prevent such paradoxes. Imagine the possibilities and dangers of approaching a rotating black hole. Would we ever be able to navigate safely through such a treacherous region of space-time? And if we could, what would we find on the other side? Another universe? Another time? In addition to black holes and closed time-like curves, there's another cosmic mystery that could potentially open a path through time. Cosmic strings. These hypothetical one-dimensional cracks in the universe may be remnants of the Big Bang itself. Cosmic strings are thought to have formed in the early moments of the universe as they cooled down after the hot and dense state of the Big Bang. These strings would have been thinner than an atom but incredibly dense and would have had a tremendous gravitational pull. Although still theoretical, cosmic strings offer intriguing possibilities for time travel. Physicists J. Richard Gott and William Hiscock have made significant contributions to our understanding of these mysterious objects. Gott suggested that a cosmic string traveling at the speed of light could theoretically distort space-time enough to create a loop allowing time travel into the past or future. However, the existence of cosmic strings is still a matter of debate. Their detection would require astronomical observations on scales that are currently beyond our capabilities. Moreover, if they do exist, harnessing their power for time travel would be a challenge. Now, let us return to quantum entanglement. We've already explored how entangled particles are connected in ways that transcend ordinary spatial distances. Can they be bound in time? Some theories suggest that entangled particles can be used to transmit information not only in space, but also in time. Imagine a future in which quantum entanglement is used to create a kind of quantum internet that allows instant communication across eras. The intersection of cosmic strings and quantum entanglement is a frontier of theoretical physics rife with unanswered questions and untapped potential. Researchers are exploring how the two phenomena might be connected and what this might mean for our understanding of time travel. 
Imagine a scenario in which cosmic strings are manipulated at the quantum level through entanglement. This would represent a merger of the very large and the very small, a meeting point of cosmic and quantum scales that could revolutionize our concept of time travel. As we venture into the realm of time travel, we face many paradoxes and riddles. These are not just intellectual exercises. They are fundamental questions that can make or break the possibility of time travel. First of all, this is the grandparent paradox. Imagine going back in time and not allowing your grandparents to meet. If they never meet, one of your parents will never be born, and therefore neither will you. But if you were never born, how would you even be able to travel through time? The grandfather paradox raises questions about causality and the nature of time itself. Some theorists suggest that such paradoxes can be resolved through the existence of parallel universes, where each solution generates a new timeline. Another confounding bootstrap paradox is named after the popular expression, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. Imagine going back in time to give Shakespeare a copy of your works, which he then claims as his own. Where, in that case, did these works originate? The bootstrap paradox creates a closed loop of cause and effect with no apparent origin. It challenges our linear understanding of time and suggests that cause and effect may not be as simple as we think. Another paradox, the paradox of predestination, is when a time traveler's actions in the past lead to the very event he was trying to prevent. This raises questions about free will and determinism and whether we can ever really change the course of history. The study of time travel paradoxes is not just a playground for philosophers. It's a serious area of research in physics and metaphysics. The resolution of these paradoxes may shed light on time travel. While we stand on the threshold of scientific discovery, the future of time travel remains a mystery shrouded in paradoxes, theories, and cosmic phenomena. What was once the realm of science fiction is gradually approaching the realm of real science. From cosmic strings to quantum entanglement, from spinning black holes to closed time-like curves, we explore the theories and possibilities that could one day make time travel a reality. Current research is paving the way for new experiments, new technologies, and perhaps even a new understanding of the structure of reality. But as we teeter on the edge of cosmic horizons, one question becomes more important than all others. Are we ready for what we might find? Time waits for no one, but what if we could wait for time? For years now, there's been a concept that defies the very laws of physics as we know them a dream that has spawned countless stories and science fiction fantasies. This mystery is the search for a warp drive, a technology that could potentially allow us to travel vast distances in space faster than light itself. Imagine a journey where time and space constraints yield to the power of human ingenuity, where the farthest corners of the universe suddenly become accessible. This isn't just science fiction. It's a puzzle that scientists have been piecing together for decades, ever since physicist Miguel El Cabieri proposed a theoretical model in 1994. El Cabieri's model, a bold combination of imagination and Einstein's theories, offers a way to bend the fabric of space-time itself. But what lies behind this bold idea? Is it a mere flight of fancy? Or could it be the key to unlocking interstellar travel? Today, we explore the tangled web of problems and breakthroughs surrounding warp drive. From the mysterious nature of negative energy to the tangled horizon problem. So let's dive into the depths of one of the most intriguing scientific quests of our time. The quest for the warp engine, science or fiction. In the heart of Mexico City, amidst the hustle and bustle of city life, a young mind was fascinated by the mysteries of the cosmos. We're talking about Miguel El Cabieri. Born in 1964, a physicist whose name has become synonymous with one of the most innovative ideas in theoretical physics. His journey began in Mexico 
and led him to the prestigious University of Wales, where he delved deeply into the fields of general relativity and cosmology. In 1994, while working at the Max Planck Institute for Gravitational Physics in Germany, El Cubieri made a breakthrough in world perception that challenged our understanding of space travel. Inspired by the iconic science fiction series Star Trek, he posed a bold question. Could the laws of physics allow for a real warp drive? Let's break down the El Cubieri drive. Imagine a spaceship that does not move through space in the usual sense, but sits in a space-time bubble. This bubble, or deformation bubble, is the key to the El Cabieri concept. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, massive objects distort the fabric of space-time. El Cabieri hypothesized that if we could manipulate space-time in a controlled way, we could create a warp bubble. The space in front of the bubble is compressed, pushing the bubble forward. Behind it, space expands, pushing it from behind. Inside this bubble, the spaceship remains stationary, but the bubble itself moves, allowing the ship to move faster than light without violating the laws of physics. This idea doesn't involve moving the spaceship at high speed. Rather, it's about moving space around it. It's like putting a surfboard, a spaceship, on a wave warp bubble and letting the ocean, space-time, carry it. However, the El Cabieri model is not simply a manipulation of space. It requires exotic matter with a negative energy density to stabilize the warp bubble. This exotic matter is one of the many theoretical obstacles scientists face as they try to turn the El Cabieri drive from a fascinating theory into reality. Delving deeper into the practical aspects of the El Cabieri drive, we're faced with huge challenges that stand between theory and reality. The first of these is the scale of energy and mass requirements. It was originally thought that creating a warp bubble would require an amount of energy equivalent to the mass of the observable universe, an unimaginably huge amount, far beyond our current technological capabilities. However, the field of theoretical physics is constantly evolving. An outstanding achievement was when physicist Chris Vanderbroek proposed modifications to the shape of the warp bubble. These adjustments dramatically reduced the energy requirement to about the mass of three suns. Still a colossal amount, but a significant step down from the original estimates. The second major obstacle is the need for exotic matter and negative energy. In the El Cubieri model, this exotic matter is crucial to stabilizing the warp bubble and making it function as intended. Negative energy is a peculiar and controversial concept. It's a concept in physics that can distort the very fabric of space-time. It's not just the absence of energy, but an actual physical quantity with negative characteristics. In the context of El Cabieri drive, negative energy will counteract the effects of normal positive energy, creating the conditions necessary for the existence and stability of the warp bubble. Negative energy, in the context of El Cabieri drive, is indeed a complex and somewhat elusive concept in physics, and it's important to distinguish it from the more familiar concepts of gravitational potential energy. In classical physics, the concept of negative energy often refers to gravitational potential energy. For example, the gravitational potential energy of an object in a gravitational field, like a planet, is considered negative energy because it takes work to move the object from the source of gravity to a point where this energy would be zero, for example to infinity. This form of negative energy is the cornerstone of our understanding of gravitational interactions in the universe. However, the negative energy required for the El Cabieri drive is different. In this context, negative energy refers to a hypothetical form of energy whose energy density is less than zero. It's not just an accounting tool or a way of describing potential energy in a gravitational field, but rather a real physical substance or field with exotic properties, such as repulsive gravitational effects. This type of negative energy is not something we observe or well understand in the context of known physics. 
However, the existence of negative energy and, by extension, exotic matter, remains a topic of intense debate and speculation in physics. Although phenomena such as the Casimir effect suggest the possibility of the existence of negative energy under certain conditions, harnessing it on the scale required for warp drive is a challenge. These challenges, the enormous energy requirements, and the need for exotic matter, underscore the monumental task of transforming El Cavieri drive from a theoretical model to a practical reality. They represent not just technological obstacles, but fundamental questions about the nature of the universe and our ability to manipulate its basic forces. As we move forward into the world of warp drive technology, we face another obstacle known as the horizon issue. This issue is at the heart of the El Cavieri drive design and poses serious problems for its practical application. In astrophysics, the horizon is often referred to as the boundary beyond which events cannot affect an outside observer. The most famous example is the event horizon of a black hole, the point of no return. Beyond this horizon, the gravitational attraction is so strong that nothing, not even light, can leave it. Similarly, in El Cavieri Drive, the horizon is the boundary of a warp bubble. Inside this bubble, the spaceship is cut off from the rest of the universe, just as the interior of a black hole is isolated from the outside world by its event horizon. The horizon problem arises from the unique structure of the warp bubble itself. In the El Cavieri model, the spacecraft is located in a region of the space-time plane surrounded by a warp bubble that compresses space at the front and expands it at the back. This manipulation of space-time allows travel at speeds faster than the speed of light, but with a critical limitation, it isolates the spacecraft from the rest of the universe. Imagine being inside this warp bubble, the very mechanism that allows you to travel vast distances in space, also prevents you from controlling the ship or interacting with the outside world. Communication signals, navigation commands, and even visual observations are all prevented by the bubble's boundary. Passengers and crew will not be able to control the spacecraft, correct its course, or even stop the journey once it's begun. The implications of the horizon problem are profound. It implies that a spacecraft driven by warp would essentially be traveling on a one-way, uncontrolled journey. This raises practical questions about using such technology for exploration or travel. How do we get to specific destinations? How do we avoid collisions with celestial objects or adjust our flight path to meet unforeseen circumstances? Moreover, this problem implies the need for a pre-established infrastructure, similar to an interstellar highway, with mechanisms to create and control the warp bubble from the outside. Such a requirement adds another layer of complexity to the already difficult task of realizing warp drive technology. While the horizon problem represents a significant engineering challenge, it is important to recognize that it doesn't invalidate the fundamental scientific validity of the concept. Theoretically, the principles underlying the warp drive remain unchanged and plausible within the framework of the general theory of relativity. As we delve deeper into the complexities of El Cavieri drive, we encounter another major problem the radiation problem. This problem is twofold. It involves both the accumulation of radiation at the front of the deformation bubble and the potential effects of Hawking radiation within the bubble itself. First, let us consider the radiation accumulating at the front of the warp bubble. As the bubble moves through space at a speed faster than the speed of light, it inevitably encounters interstellar particles in cosmic radiation. These particles and radiation, unable to bypass the warp bubble, accumulate near its front end. Such accumulation poses a significant risk. When the warp bubble slows or stops, the collected radiation and particles will be released in a burst of energy. The intensity of this release could be catastrophic. 
not only endangering the spacecraft and its passengers, but potentially damaging any nearby objects at the destination. Moving inside the warp bubble, we encounter the second aspect of the radiation problem, Hawking radiation. This theoretical radiation, predicted by Stephen Hawking, arises from the effects of quantum mechanics near the edges of black holes. In the context of Alcubierre Drive, the intense warping of space-time around the edge of the bubble could create conditions similar to those at the event horizon of a black hole, potentially generating Hawking radiation. This radiation could have harmful effects on passengers inside the bubble, exposing them to high levels of energy and particles. The implications of these radiation problems are profound. Not only do they pose serious engineering and safety challenges, but they also raise questions about the feasibility of long-duration travel using El Cabieri Drive. Ensuring passenger safety and spacecraft integrity in the face of these radiation hazards is a critical area requiring further research and innovative solutions. It is a challenge that requires ingenuity and a deeper understanding of the interplay between quantum mechanics, the theory of relativity, and the harsh reality of space travel. When we turn our eyes to the current state of research in warp drive technology, we find ourselves in the thick of scientific research. Recent years have seen a flurry of theoretical papers and articles that break new ground in this field. One notable development has come from the work of physicists who've been revisiting the energy requirements of the Alcabieri drive. Based on earlier advances that significantly reduce the estimated energy requirements, recent papers have proposed various methods to further optimize the geometry of the warp bubble. These improvements are aimed at making the energy requirements even more feasible, approaching the realm of possibility. Significant contributions to the field have been made by researchers such as Harold White, who was instrumental in the experimental work on the feasibility of deformation bubbles and space-time manipulation at the NASA Eagle Works Laboratories. Another area of active research is exploring alternative theories that could circumvent some of the limitations of the El Cabieri drive. For example, some physicists are exploring the possibility of using solitons solitary waves that retain their shape while traveling at a constant speed as a basis for creating stable strain bubbles without the need for negative energy. There's also growing interest in the role of quantum mechanics in warp drive physics. Researchers are delving into the quantum aspects of space-time and how they might affect warp drive mechanics. This includes studying the effects of quantum entanglement and the potential use of quantum fields to stabilize the warp bubble. Recent theoretical advances also include the study of the effects of warp drive technology on causality and the fabric of space-time. These studies are critical in addressing potential paradoxes and time travel scenarios, ensuring that the concept remains grounded in physical laws as we know them. Little by little, the dream of warp drive technology is moving ever closer from the pages of science fiction into the realm of scientific possibilities, driven by the tireless efforts of researchers around the world. As we ponder the future of warp drive technology, we find ourselves at a crossroad of assumptions and possibilities. The realization of warp drives, a concept once confined to the realm of science fiction, depends on several key developments and breakthroughs. First of all, the theoretical problems associated with warp drive technology need to be addressed. This includes finding viable solutions to the enormous energy requirements, the creation and stabilization of warp bubbles, and the safe management of radiation risks. Advances in areas such as quantum mechanics, exotic matter, and energy manipulation are critical to turning these theoretical possibilities into practical reality. Beyond the scientific and technical obstacles, the advent of warp drive technology brings with it many ethical and practical considerations. The ability to travel vast distances in space at unprecedented speeds would revolutionize space exploration, opening new horizons for humanity. However, with great power 
comes great responsibility. The ethical implications of such technology must be carefully considered. This includes the potential impact on space ecosystems, the responsibility to explore and possibly interact with extraterrestrial life, and equal access to this technology among nations and peoples. In practice, warp drive technology could lead to new methods of resource utilization, new ways of conducting scientific research, and even the possibility of interstellar colonization. This would fundamentally change our relationship with space, from one of exploration to one of habitation and utilization. For now, we look forward to a future in which stars are not just points of light in the night sky, but destinations within our reach. This future promises uncharted territories and unprecedented exploration, beckoning us to continue our quest for knowledge and discovery. There's an interesting mystery in our world, generated by the equations of Einstein's general theory of relativity. It's the theoretical analog of the black hole familiar to many. We call it a white hole. Imagine a region of space where, unlike an all-consuming black hole, nothing can penetrate. Instead, this cosmic anomaly defies our expectations by ejecting matter and energy, glowing violently on the dark canvas of space. In a universe governed by the concept of an arrow of time, where events flow from past to future, a white hole is a tantalizing paradox. It's like watching a space movie in reverse, where the rules of gravity and time seem to be rewritten. But are these celestial wonders just mathematical curiosities? Or do they hold the key to understanding the deeper truths of our universe? Let us delve into the mysteries of white holes, exploring their theoretical underpinnings, their enigmatic characteristics, and their potential role in the great history of the universe. In the early 20th century, Albert Einstein revolutionized our understanding of the universe by creating the general theory of relativity. This groundbreaking theory proposed a radical idea. Gravity is not a force pulling objects together, but rather a curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. Imagine space-time as a fabric stretched like a cosmic trampoline when an object of mass, such as a star or planet, lands on this fabric. It causes a dip. This curvature directs the motion of other objects, which move along curved trajectories in space-time. This is gravity, as Einstein envisioned it. Einstein's theory led to the prediction of black holes, regions in space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. These cosmic giants form when massive stars collapse under their gravity, distorting space-time to the extreme. Introducing Carl Schwarzschild, a brilliant physicist who, while fighting in World War I, found an interesting solution to Einstein's equations. Schwarzschild's solution described space-time around a spherical, non-rotating mass, such as a star. Schwarzschild's work laid the foundation for understanding black holes, but it also hinted at something even more mysterious. If a black hole is a region from which nothing can escape, could its polar opposite exist? A region where nothing can enter, but only leave? This led to the birth of the concept of a white hole. Just as a black hole is the end point of gravitational collapse, a white hole can be thought of as a reverse black hole, a cosmic fountain ejecting matter and energy. However, Unlike black holes, which have already been observed, white holes remain a theoretical concept, a tantalizing possibility in the vast cosmic mystery. In the field of astrophysics, the path from mathematical abstraction to physical reality is often long and difficult, and white holes are no exception. These theoretical entities arise from the complex equations of the general theory of relativity, the same mathematical structure that predicts the existence of black holes. The math of white holes is robust, but it's like a jigsaw puzzle with missing pieces. We understand their theoretical basis, 
But the real challenge is to relate these mathematical models to observable phenomena. Imagine a universe in which, instead of collapsing inward, a region of space-time does the opposite. It explosively ejects matter and energy. This is the essence of a white hole, a mirror image of a black hole, in which the flow of time and matter is reversed. But can these mathematical abstractions exist in our physical reality? The debate among scientists is ongoing and multifaceted. Some theorists suggest that white holes may be remnants of the early universe, exotic structures woven into the fabric of space-time itself. Others suggest they may represent the other end of a black hole, a kind of cosmic exit door from which matter and energy reappear after being swallowed up by the black hole. The novel idea of quantum gravity suggests that as a black hole evaporates over many epochs, losing mass, it may reach a point at which it can no longer sustain itself as a black hole. At that point, it may turn into a white hole, releasing the trapped contents back into the universe. However, there are serious problems with the physical existence of white holes. The laws of thermodynamics, especially the concept of entropy, presents a serious obstacle. Entropy, a measure of disorder, tends to increase in the universe. White holes, by their nature, decrease entropy, which contradicts this fundamental principle. Moreover, the stability of white holes is a controversial issue. Some theories suggest that if they did form, they'd be extremely unstable and would probably collapse almost instantaneously into black holes. In outer space, white holes represent one of the most enigmatic and paradoxical concepts. These mirror images of black holes have characteristics that challenge our traditional understanding of physics. Let us understand in more detail what is the concept of a white hole in the theoretical physics. At the heart of a white hole is its event horizon, a boundary not of inescapability, as it is with black holes, but of impenetrability. This event horizon marks the point where matter and energy are ejected, creating a spectacle of cosmic proportions. Unlike a black hole, which takes over everything, a white hole is the source of the expulsion, the cosmic fountain from which matter and energy arise. One of the most intriguing aspects of white holes is the concept of time reversal. In the universe, time usually flows in one direction, from the past to the future. However, white holes seem to reverse this flow. It's like watching a space movie played backwards, where the usual rules of time and space are reversed. Deepening into the nature of white holes, we face a realm of paradoxes and problems. One of the most important is their connection with the previously mentioned entropy. According to the second principle of thermodynamics, entropy, or the measure of disorder, should always increase in a closed system. However, white holes seem to ignore this law, decreasing entropy and ejecting matter in an ordered state. This apparent violation of thermodynamic laws presents a serious problem for our understanding of physical processes in the universe. How can such an object as a white hole exist if it contradicts such a fundamental principle? Another paradox lies in the concept of the arrow of time. While the universe moves inexorably forward in time, White holes suggest a scenario in which time can flow backward, at least from a certain point of view. This concept breaks not only our understanding of time, but also the very nature of causality in the universe. Let us summarize the characteristics of white holes, their event horizons, the expulsion of matter, and the concept of time reversal present a fascinating but paradoxical picture for theories that while we're looking to solve these problems, White holes remain in the realm of theoretical physics. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, the concept of white holes invites us to rethink our understanding of the universe. These theoretical objects are not just surprising anomalies. They may have profound cosmological implications. Consider the Big Bang, the colossal explosion that marked the beginning of our universe. Some theorists suggest that this pivotal moment in cosmic history was not just a random explosion, but that the event may have been a white hole of unimaginable magnitude, an eruption of matter and energy that gave birth to the cosmos. 
This view offers a radical new interpretation of the origin of our universe, suggesting that white holes may play a role in cosmic genesis. Imagine a white hole not just as a theoretical construct, but as the very source of the creation of our universe. In this scenario, the Big Bang could be envisioned as a white hole of unfathomable scale, spewing out matter, energy, and space-time that subsequently evolved into the stars, galaxies, and planets we observe today. This view offers a radical rethinking of the Big Bang. Instead of an undefined singularity, we have a white hole, an entity defined by the laws of physics, albeit in a form that stretches our understanding to its limits. This white hole may have been the first spark that set the stage for subsequent cosmic evolution. If the Big Bang was indeed a white hole, it raises profound questions about the nature of our universe. What was the source of this white hole? Was it the result of a collapse of the universe from another dimension, or the result of processes beyond our current scientific understanding? This concept also changes our perception of time and causality. If the Big Bang was a white hole, it suggests the existence of a universe with a more complex timeline, in which the beginning and end of cosmic phenomena are intertwined in ways we've yet to understand. This idea of the Big Bang as a white hole organically combines with the Big Bounce theory, according to which the beginning of our universe may be the result of the collapse of the previous universe. It unites the idea of cyclical universes, suggesting that each cosmic end can give rise to a new beginning, similar to the explosive genesis of a white hole. The existence of white holes may also confirm the concept of parallel universes. If white holes can eject matter and energy, could they be a gateway to other universes? This possibility is related to the multiverse theory, which postulates the existence of multiple possibly infinite universes, along with our own. In parallel universes, there may be different versions of physics, alternate histories, and perhaps even variations of ourselves. Another intriguing connection relates to wormholes, hypothetical tunnels in space-time. Theoretical models suggest that wormholes could link distant regions of space, and perhaps even different universes. If white holes are connected to wormholes, they could serve as cosmic portals, opening paths to remote corners of the universe or other dimensions altogether. This connection raises tantalizing questions about the nature of space and time. Could white holes and wormholes allow travel over vast cosmic distances or even between different universes? Looking into the future of astrophysics, we see that at the moment there's a lot of scientific research in one way or another affecting the subject of white holes. But two research papers stand out among the rest, shedding light on the mysterious nature of these cosmic objects and offering new ideas and possibilities that could revolutionize our understanding of white holes. The first paper takes us on a journey to the very edge of black and white holes exploring the close connections between them and refocusing on the physics occurring near their horizons. The authors introduced the concept of Horizon Penetrating Coordinate Systems, a revolutionary approach that allows us to distinguish between the horizons of black and white holes. They differ from standard curvature coordinates in a small near-horizon region to emphasize the distinction between black and white horizons, which depends on near-horizon physics this study suggests that black holes may not be the cosmic dead ends we once thought. Instead, they may be in quantum superposition with white holes, creating a scenario in which observed phenomena may hint at the existence of these theoretical white counterparts. The paper also delves into the role of quantum physics in these near-horizon regions, suggesting that quantum effects may dominate leading to significant implications for our understanding of white holes. However, the authors emphasize that there's a problem in observational astrophysics in which there is substantial observational evidence for black holes, but relatively weak observational support for white holes. Moving on to the second paper titled, New Black to White Hole Solutions with Improved Geometry and Energy Conditions. We find that the focus here is on the way to convert black holes into white holes, guided by the principles of quantum gravity. 
The study presents models in which the effects of quantum gravity prevent the formation of singularities inside black holes, providing a smooth transition to white holes. This solves the long-standing paradox of information loss by assuming that matter can pass through a black hole and appear in a white hole. The paper also explores geodesics within these models, confirming the completeness of particle trajectories in the transition from the black hole region to the white hole region. This supports the idea of a continuous, unimpeded flow of matter, changing our understanding of these cosmic phenomena. By integrating these theoretical developments with emerging technologies, we stand on the threshold of a new era in astrophysics. The future of white hole research promises to reveal new aspects of the universe where the boundaries between quantum mechanics and general relativity are blurring. To summarize, we can say that the future of white hole research is very bright. Who knows, perhaps very soon, we'll be able to discover indirect evidence for the existence of these intriguing objects. Our universe hides a mystery that's long captivated the human mind. A question that bridges the gap between the known and the unknown, the simple and the complex. Here on Earth, life thrives in a continuous movement of order and chaos. Every form of life is evidence of a hidden order, a pattern woven into the very fabric of existence. From the smallest microorganisms to the largest mammals, but what if the complexity of life, the very essence of our existence, could be explained not only through the lens of biology, but also through a mathematical framework? This is the territory of assembly theory, a groundbreaking concept that transcends traditional science. It's a journey into a world where math and biology converge to reveal the hidden architecture of life. Imagine a universe in which the secrets of life, from the simplest molecule to the most complex organism, are encoded in mathematical language and are waiting to be decoded, where the line between living and non-living is blurred, giving birth to new possibilities and new understanding. Let's explore how this revolutionary idea is changing our perception of life, evolution, and the cosmos itself. And maybe we can even get closer to answering the ultimate question. What is the true nature of life in the universe? Since the dawn of civilization, mathematics has been the language of the universe, a tool for deciphering the mysteries of nature. But how does this language of numbers and equations relate to understanding the very essence of life? At its core, assembly theory offers a simple but profound idea. The complexity of life can be measured and understood through a mathematical prism. Think of life as a jigsaw puzzle, where each piece represents a molecular building block. Assembly theory seeks to show how these pieces come together step by step to form the complex structures that define living organisms. Each step in this assembly process represents a leap of complexity, from simple atoms to complex proteins. The theory introduces the concept of the assembly index. The assembly index, the cornerstone of this theory, measures the number of steps required to build a biological structure. It's a numerical value that captures the essence of complexity by quantifying the immeasurable. But how does the standard model of physics fit into this? This standard model theory of physics describes the fundamental particles and forces that govern our universe. It seems completely separate from the complexities of biology. However, assembly theory bridges this gap. In the field of assembly theory, the standard model lays the foundation for understanding forces and interactions. It's a bridge between the microscopic world of quarks and leptons and the macroscopic world of living things. Another important element of the theory is the concept of studying dynamical systems, phase space. This is a mathematical concept used to describe all possible states of a system. In the context of assembly theory, phase space allows us to map the path of the assembly of life. 
from a single point representing the simplest form of life, phase space expands, branching out into almost infinite possibilities. Each pathway representing a different route that life can take. In this limitless mathematical landscape, the paths of evolution and its complexities unfold. This mathematical framework gives us a new perspective on the complexity of life. It's not just about the particles and forces described by the standard model, but how these elements combine and interact over time to create the diverse pattern of life we see around us. This is where the chaos of random molecular interactions gives way to the order of living structures. So let's ask ourselves this question. Are the complexities of life simply the product of chance, or is there a deeper cause? Let us consider two sharply contrasting concepts, complexity and entropy. Entropy, a measure of disorder and randomness, seems to be at odds with the complexity we observe in life. How do these opposing forces coexist in the natural world? It's here that assembly theory offers a revolutionary perspective. So, central to assembly theory is the assembly index, a revolutionary tool designed to measure the complexity of life. Think of it as a cosmic ruler, measuring the steps required to assemble a biological structure from its simplest components. Imagine a single molecule as the starting point on this scale. As you move up the scale, each step represents a more complex assembly, from molecules to cells and beyond. The higher the index, the greater the complexity, and the less likely it is that the structure could have arisen by chance. Now let's delve into the interaction between entropy and complexity. Entropy, a concept rooted in thermodynamics, suggests that systems naturally tend toward disorder. However, life defies this tendency, evolving from simple origins to a variety of forms combined into the complex ordered structures we see today. How does assembly theory resolve this apparent contradiction? It suggests that life is inherently a process of overcoming entropy. Through the lens of the assembly index, we see the complexity of life is not a challenge to entropy, but a journey through it. Consider the early Earth, a primordial soup of simple molecules. Over millennia, driven by the laws of physics and chemistry, these molecules began to assemble into more complex structures. Each step along the way marked a victory over entropy, a step toward greater complexity in life. Rethinking evolution through assembly theory, we see it not as a mere biological process, but as a mathematical inevitability. The emergence and evolution of life became a story of increasing complexity, a story written in the language of mathematics. Let us now turn to a very trivial question, but one that shines in a new light. Are we alone? The search for extraterrestrial life has captivated our imagination for centuries. Now, thanks to assembly theory, we have a new tool in this cosmic quest. Assembly theory offers a unique approach to detecting alien life. It's not about scanning the sky for radio signals or analyzing light spectra for the presence of oxygen. Instead, it's about understanding the complexity of molecules and structures that may indicate life. Imagine scanning the atmosphere of a distant exoplanet or the surface of a moon in our solar system. Using assembly theory, we could analyze the molecular complexity of the samples in search of patterns that indicate the presence of life. The higher assembly index, the more likely it is that these molecules are the result of life rather than random processes. However, the road to discovering alien life is full of challenges and limitations. One of the biggest obstacles is our understanding of life itself. Our definition of life is based on what we know. Life on Earth. What if it doesn't meet our biochemical standards? Another problem is the vastness of space. The universe is vast, and our ability to explore it is limited by current technology. Even with the most sophisticated telescopes and probes, we can only analyze a tiny fraction of the cosmos. 
Moreover, assembly theory, while powerful, is still in its infancy. It's a new approach, and its application to the search for extraterrestrial life is uncharted territory. There are questions about its applicability and accuracy in different environments, especially those that are very different from terrestrial environments. Despite these problems, the potential of assembly theory in the search for alien life is enormous. It could redefine our understanding of life in the universe, opening new doors in astrobiology. So assembly theory offers a new way of looking at life, not just as a biological phenomenon, but as an emergent property of cosmic complexity. Imagine the early days of our planet, a world in motion, a crucible for the chemistry of life. Here in this chaotic environment, simple molecules began the journey of assembly, a process governed by the laws of physics and chemistry, but leading to something much deeper. Life, according to assembly theory, emerges when these molecular structures reach a level of complexity that allows them to store and reproduce information. This is where chemical memory, a crucial step in the evolution of life, comes into play. Chemical memory is the ability of certain molecular structures to retain structure. In other words, we can say this is the blueprint for life. In the world of assembly theory, this is where reproducibility becomes key. The ability to reproduce these patterns, to pass them on from generation to generation, is what drives the evolution of life. From the simplest RNA molecules and the primordial soup, to the vast diversity of life we see today. Each step in this evolutionary journey has been a step up the assembly index. Each increase in complexity represents a triumph over the entropy that governs the universe. But the story of the origin and evolution of life is not just a story of increasing complexity. It's also a story of resilience and adaptability. Life has found a way to thrive in the most extreme environments from the depths of the ocean to the fringes of space. In the realm of scientific discovery, every new theory is scrutinized and debated. Assembly theory, a concept that promises to revolutionize our understanding of life and complexity, now stands at a crossroads being questioned by critical voices such as Dr. Hector Zenel. The critique presented by Zenel raises fundamental questions about the future evolution of assembly theory. Covering an impressive 18,000 words, the article will require time and thought, taking approximately one to two hours of dedicated reading. This is not a cursory look at the topic, but a deep dive into the heart of the scientific debate. For those who are interested, we leave a link in the description to both articles, the study and the counter-arguments to it. Looking to the future, the role of assembly theory in scientific research remains uncertain. Will it be able to adapt and overcome these challenges? Or will it remain a footnote in the history of science? Despite the disagreements, one thing is clear. The debates surrounding assembly theory have initiated a conversation about the nature of scientific discovery. They emphasize the need for transparency, rigor, and humility in pursuing knowledge. In the end, the impact of assembly theory on future research may not lie in its specific claims, but in the lessons it teaches us about the scientific process. As we explore the mysteries of life in the universe, such theories will come and go. But the quest for understanding, the quest to unlock the mysteries of our existence, will always remain at the center of the interest of scientific research.